with the uh, started with the exercise 7.3 yeah see this one the population of a place that is the updated one yes sir okay okay where did you verify it from by the way sir my book okay from your book okay and see the addition in the book see by the way what is the addition in your book the addition mm -hmm. which in which year the book was uh, uh, published i mean the let is the, is it the latest edition or the old edition okay so i'm checking yeah check it because in the old edition there were some good questions related to uh, a calculation of uh, interest annually uh, half yearly and on monthly basis sir by the way the uh, publish date credit in cuz i cannot find it okay it must be on the first page you can find it on the uh, first page of the book not the cover page inside the cover page you can find it out okay ahmed you also okay, quick uh, ahmed assalamu alaikum you also Alikum quickly assam, you also quickly tell me that uh, the book which you are having uh, what is the chapter number like is this the chapter number 7 and also yes. see and also do tell me the edition of the book okay um edition it is that it 2007 2007 yes sir so i guess you are having the old edition of the book okay okay and ahmed you you do tell me what was what is the edition of the book is it um okay so let me is it after uh, 2014 so by the way my exercise uh, my exercise number is 8.3 Eight point three. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let me check. The first question is ten thousand eight hundred for uh, three years at eight twelve five one and a half. Okay, okay. Then, then the issue is resolved, Rahan. Okay, because Ahmed also had the same exercise in the previous class. Now you told me that you yes, your exercise starts with this question. That's why I thought that. Uh, we are having two versions okay so the oh, latest okay. exercise uh, i guess 8.3 is as per the latest ncert book okay guys okay sir okay so so far everything is clear or not yes sir it is because the chapter is such that you guys need to practice more and more questions so only then the concepts will be understood okay so so far we we uh, in the previous class we ended our class with this question okay ahmed then arhan so we were basically calculating the amount and compound interest on 6 rupees 1600 for 2 years and 3 months okay so look compound interest it is always calculated annually remember this thing always compound interest is always calculated annually right so in this question the annual years were two there were two years right yeah there were two years but how do you calculate the interest for three months since compound interest is calculated on annual basis okay madam nadhan so how do you calculate interest for three months right so yes, what we did in the question just pay attention to the steps okay first we written we wrote whatever was given in the question okay so our our step was like this that we were to first find the amount for the two years using the formula we know that right and whatever the value came here 1936 we treated it as principal okay and using this principal we find out we found out simple interest 
for three months for the remaining three months getting it guys so we can uh, calculate compound interest for annually basis only for one or two or three basically it has to be a full year while three months or four months or two months or five months for that we need to calculate it using the simple interest method Arhan and Ahmed, are you guys getting it mm -hmm. yes sir okay Ahmed is here or not Arhan and Ahmed. Say, say, he, say he isn't here. He isn't here. Okay. I think he is again having network issues. Yeah. Okay. So, Arhan, you got this thing now. So, for uh, we calculate compound interest on an annual basis. And then, if, the, uh, yes, if you are having months, two months, three months, four months, like this. So for that purpose, whatever value is coming out of the MR, uh, out of uh, the interest for the annual years, so that you will treat as principal. Okay, so 1936, that was the amount. Now we treated this as principal. Okay, so now take the formula simple interest. That is PRT upon 100. Okay, so principal here was 1936. Okay, rate was how much? 10%. Time period was three months, right? Time period was three months. Okay. And then we calculated it. Or rather, you guys can use this formula. You guys can use this formula. Like whenever you are, uh, whenever time is not a complete number of years, then this formula can be used here. So, and here is n years this n here is the number of years while this m here is the number of months now look using this formula i will quickly solve this question and i will be getting my answer in one go okay okay arhan ahmed is not uh, ahmed has not joined yet no sir okay so look what was the principal amount given in the question it was rupees 1600 right rate was how much run 10 percent yes sir and time was two years sir. three months yes exactly we were required to calculate the amount as well as compound interest so once we have calculated amount we can calculate compound interest very easily right Okay. Yes, sir. Because compound, uh, because compound interest is equal to what? Principal plus? Sir, amount minus sim simple interest. Amount minus simple interest. Or in this case, compound interest. Right. Okay, look. So let's use this formula and try to find, it, uh, find out our answer. So A equals to, what is the principal here? 1600 right rate gives 10 percent isn't it and here in case of in place of n you are required to write what you will take two here okay since n represents the number of years and then multiplied with one plus m upon 12 now m represents what arhan it represents the number of months okay so in the question how many months are given there were three so months three exactly so it's three upon two upon 100 rate was given 10 percent all right now let's solve this and let's get our answer so it's going to be 110 upon 100 multiplied 110 upon 100 and then it's one plus one plus 10 upon four upon 100 getting it so these twos are gonna it cancelled here. Yes, sir. We have 16 multiplied 121. 11 multiplied 11. That is 111, uh, 121. Then solve this one. These twos are going to get cancelled here. Right. Okay. So 1 plus 5 upon 2 divided by 100. 16 multiplied 121 multiplied 
Okay, so how do we write this? 5 upon 2 divided by 100. It is 1 plus 5 upon 200, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So further it will be 205 upon 200, right? Okay, so that can be further written as 41 will uh, divided by five times and that will be 40, isn't it? So 16 multiplied 121 multiplied 41 upon 40. Okay, find this out. How much is it equal to? Okay, sir. <laughs> See if the answer is equal to this value. In the previous class, we got the amount how much? The amount was 1984.4, right? Okay. So see if we get the same value. So 16 multiplied 121, that will be 1936. Okay. Multiplied 41 upon 40. Sir, uh, sir I'm getting 1984.4. Uh, 1984.4. Now do tell me, is this value not Four. equal to the, is it not equal to this one as well? Right? Isn't it? Yes, sir. So, so where uh, in this one now, basically we, we were doing what? We will calculating the principal first, right? We treated this amount for the two years interest as principal, and we were then calculating simple interest on this principal now. Okay, so we were uh, we were doing a uh, we were solving the question in a very lengthy manner, but we have a formula in which using which you can solve it in one go okay Rahan. so wherever necessary yes, we guys can use this formula as well okay so do one thing take the screenshot of the slide okay sir okay and, and i ask you so, by guys, the way you asked us mm -hmm. to uh, uh, write the formulas yeah that exactly you exactly us. that's that's what I was going to ask. Okay. So you guys have written the formulas, right? Okay. Yes, so sir. Do, do one thing. Meanwhile, we are having our class. You can send it on the WhatsApp number. Okay. On the number and I will have, I will access it from there. Okay, okay sir. All right. So let's start discussing the exercise. Okay. And previous exercises, have you guys solved them or not? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So the first question reads that you guys, uh, we need to calculate the amount and compound interest. Okay. So it's a, a straightway question, very simple question. Just use the formula, put the values, you will be getting your answer. Right. So note one thing that in all the questions, in almost all the questions, the basic formulas we guys are going to use, that's the formula for amount. Yeah. Amount equals to what, Arham? Arhan? So amount equals to P uh, bracket 1 plus R uh, by Exactly. Okay, and how do you calculate compound interest? It's simply amount minus principal. Okay. Now, see this question. Do we need to discuss this one or is it simple? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The first question. It says that we need to calculate the amount and compound interest on 10,800 for three years at a rate of 2.5% per annum. Right? No. Yes, sir. Compounded annually. So we are basically calculating the compound interest here. Okay. So as we know that, since there are no months here, it's a straight question of annual, like there are three annual years, years here. 
okay so simply put the values in the formula and you will be getting your answer right so amount equals to principal into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to the power n so principal here is given 10800 first let's write the values okay 10800 t equals to 3 years here and and the rate is equal to how much 2 into 1 upon 2 percent or we can write it as 25 upon 2 isn't it okay yes sir okay let's solve this one 10800 multiplied 1 plus 25 upon 2 upon 100 raised to the power 3 okay or we can write it like this as well arhan 1 plus 25 upon 200. Can we not write it like this? Because 25 upon 2 divided by 2, it's the same as this. 25 upon 2 multiplied 1 upon 100. Getting it? Arhan, do tell me. Did you got this thing here? How we wrote this in this form? Yes, sir. Okay, that is quite simple. Okay, now solve this one and do tell me what is the answer. Obviously. Yeah. Hammer isn't back yet. Okay, sir. I'm I'm saying Ahmed is not back, no? He is not here. Yes, sir. Ahmed hasn't joined again. No, sir. Okay, just let me check if he has been waiting or if I fail to admit him. No, he's not waiting. Okay. For this type of question, for this question, you will be getting a value in decimal. It will be, you have to tell the approx value. Yes, sir. Okay. So we can expand it like this. Or we can write the 225 upon 200 into sim into a simple form right so how can we write it 45 into 5 and then 40 isn't it okay then yes, 8 into 5 then 9 so 9 upon 8 so rather we can write it like this 10800 multiplied 9 into 9 into 9 upon 8 into 8 into 8 Okay, Arhan. So 10,800 multiplied. What is the cube of 9? 729, isn't it? Okay. Yes, sir. 8 multiplied 3 times, that gives you how much? Sir, 64. 64? 8 multiplied 3 times. Not 2 times, 3 times. 8 into 8, 64. 64 into 8. That is 512. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have done the chapter now. Cube roots, cube and cube roots. So the required amount we are getting is 10,800 into 729 upon 512. Right. So whatever the value uh, comes after simplifying it further, that is the amount. Okay. It will be somewhere around 15,370. Somewhere around you will be getting it 15,370 or more than uh, more than 70 okay that you can check all right okay so now what needs to be done simply using this second formula we can find the component test right okay now see the question number two arhan here you have got two and a half years so how do we solve the question in this one actually we have done such type of question in previous one now and in fact I told you one formula to use for such questions, this formula. Okay. 
whenever it, when you will when you will be required to use this formula whenever time is not a complete number of years like you have got some years and some months okay so take the screenshot of this one okay just let me write this one component test equals amount minus principal that you guys will be using here okay take the screenshot okay sir done yes sir okay now see next question here principal is given 18000 now time is 2 years 6 months isn't it yes, okay sir. 2 years 6 months and rate is 10% we need to find the compound interest is what and we need to find the amount here okay now the previous formula we are going to use here which one this one which i just told you amount equals to same this thing is same here just we have added this one here right yes sir okay so amount equals to p into 1 plus r upon 100 into n okay into 1 plus m upon 12 into r upon 100 okay <laughs> we are not raising it to m or n here why because it's in months here okay now solve it 18000 multiplied 1 plus 10 upon 100 raised to the power 2 here the number of years is 2 isn't it the number of months yes, is how much Six no. Yes. Okay. It's better better to write it like this. Okay. Now let's quickly solve it. So it's going to be hundred and ten upon hundred into hundred and ten upon hundred multiplied how much? Five upon hundred, right? Isn't it? Yes, sir okay so it's going to be eighteen thousand multiplied 110 upon 100 again 110 upon 100 into 105 upon 100 right so these zeros are going to get cancelled here right so 18 multiplied 121 multiplied 105 upon 10 that is what we are left with so upon simplifying this we will be getting our answer Okay. Thank you, Mister. Uh, yes, sir, Arhan. Sir, I didn't understand why uh, we added one hundred ten by hundred. This thing here. Okay, okay. Look, let me simplify this. It's one plus ten upon hundred, right? So when you will take LCM, the LCM is going to be hundred, and then it's hundred plus ten. Getting it. So that will give me. That will give me how much? Oh, okay, sir. Right. It will be 110 upon 100 whole square. That is 110 upon 100 multiplied by 110 upon 100. Okay. Hope you got it now. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, see uh, uh, what is the value we're getting here. So, quickly tell me 121 multiplied 18. That gives me how much? Sir, 2178 okay the so 2178 multiplied 105 now okay so multiply it with 105 yeah quickly tell me it will be 0 9 then then 8 then 0 then 1 Okay. So we are getting how much? Zero nine eight eight sixteen. Then eight. Then again, this is this is should be written here. One and two. So then two and then again. Two, isn't it? 
okay see if that is correct that is the required that should be the required answer okay so we see that this is the required amount here okay so yes, in just one go we are getting our answer right at hand yes sir okay so instead of using the uh, using the lengthy method we guys can simply use this method right yes sir okay now since we have got our amount we can calculate the component is very easily right so that can also be calculated okay so other questions will also be done in the same way see question number four what does it say is read the question what values are given this it's one, a, this one. Uh, it's a question number four right mm -hmm. LP is 8,000 for one year at 9% per annum compounded half yearly. We could use the year by year calculation using SI formula to verify. Hmm. Okay. The question is that rupees 8,000 for one year at 9% per annum compounded half yearly. So here it says that we need to compound it half yearly okay but we know that compound interest is always calculated for one full year now right so let's see how do we solve this question okay so first as usual first we will write whatever is given in the question principal is given it is rupees eight thousand right rate of interest talking about rate of interest how much it's going to be how do we calculate this here the question says that it's 9% per annum. 9% per annum. Per annum or per year. Both are same thing. And it says compounded. Compounded half yearly. So what did I told you? That whenever we are calculating com uh, compound interest uh, um, as, as half yearly, then the rate simply gets half now. Yes. Yeah, so it will be 9 upon 2% now. So we have got the rate also here. Okay. Now talking about the number of years. For how many years it's been calculated? For one year now. So number of years equals to one year here. That is the full complete year for which the interest is being charged here. 9% per annum. Okay, but it is being compounded half yearly now. So there will be two half years in one year now. Uh, Arhan, there will be two half years in a year. Okay, so we will take N to be two here. Remember the formula amount equals to P into one plus R upon 100 into n so what yes, about sir. this n that has to be taken as 2 here okay because the interest is being calculated half yearly okay and in a year there are two half years so hence n here is 2 okay now should we come to the solution now so the amount is going to be p into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to the power n that is 8000 multiplied 1 plus 9 upon 2 here or we can write 9 up upon 2 upon 100 simply as 9 upon 200 isn't it yes, sir. so i'm writing it in uh, writing it directly here and is to the power 2 okay do tell me what is the answer we are supposed to be getting here okay Okay, solve this thing, solve this uh, form and see what is the answer. Okay.
Um, so I got uh, 17,472.4. Uh, how much? So 17, uh, 17,472.4. No, that, that won't be the correct value here. I guess we, uh, we have done some mistake here in solution. It's 8,000 multiplied. Yeah. It's 8,000 multiplied 209 upon 202 times. Okay. So upon solving, you will be getting the value 8,736.20. And your value was? Um, sir, I got uh, 7. No, no. no. This is a slight mistake. I guess you must have done some mistake in the solution. You see, the answer we will be getting is this here. That is the amount. All right. Now, since we have got the amount, we can calculate the compound interest now. Right. So, compound interest yes, equals to amount minus principal. Amount here is 8736.2 minus principal. So, principal was 8000. So, basically, compound interest here is 736. 0.20. Okay, Han. Yes, okay, now see question number two. Read the question. What does it say? Kamala borrowed a uh, rupees uh, 26,400 from a bank to buy a scooter at a rate of 15 per annum, compounded yearly. What amount will she pay at the end of two years and four months? to hmm. clear the loan. Hmm. Now remember, either we can solve this question also using the formula that is uh, this formula now, which we discussed here, amount equals to P into 1 plus R upon 100 into N into 1 plus into 1 plus M upon 2 into rate upon 100. Okay, Arhan, either we can be using this formula or either first we will calculate the rate of interest. In this case, the question says for two years. So first we will be calculating the rate of interest for two years. Okay, and then we will calculate the rate of interest for four months. Right? Yes. Getting it. So four months or we can say to be one upon three years now. Okay. So either method you guys can be using here. Okay. So for this question, let's go with this method. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Sh uh, should we solve this one or will you be able to solve this one? Like there are uh, many remaining questions in the exercise. See. Yeah. Um, sir, uh, we can call this one. Okay, you can solve it. Okay, then. See, yes. question number three, then. Simply now, in this question, first found the amount, and then you will treat that amount as principal. Okay, so using that principle, you will calculate the simple interest now. Because the fundamental thing we know that compound this is interest is always, always calculated annually. Okay, so after you have done the annual calculation, you have done the calculation for one, two, three, or four years. Okay, so whatever months is remaining to calculate that, you will use the simple interest method. Okay, and we know to find out the simple interest method, the formula is PRT upon 100. So the this P here, you will not take this P which was given in the question originally. You will take this P which you have find out after finding out the amount. So the amount which comes that you have to treat as treat as principal. All right. So now, see question number three. Uh, Fabi uh, Fabina borrows rupees twelve thousand four hundred at twelve uh, percent per annum for three years at simple interest, and Parada borrows the same amount for the same period at ten percent annum per annum, compounded annually. Who pays more interest and by how much? Hmm. 
So that is the question. We are basically required to find who pays more interest and by how much. Okay, there are two girls, Fabina and Radha. So both of them are borrowing 12,000 from the bank. One at 12% per annum for three years at simple interest. And Radha is borrowing the same interest for the same time period at 10% annum. Okay, now see here. For Fabina and for Radha. Okay. What are the things given in the question? The principal is 12,500. Right. For her also, the principal is 12,500. Okay. Now the rate of interest for her is 12% and for her it's 10%. Okay. The time period is three years. Okay. And time period here is again three years. Okay. Now, in the case of Fabina, the interest is being calculated at a simple interest. The interest is simple interest. Now, in the case of Radha, it's compound interest, isn't it? So basically, we are required to find out who pays more interest, whether it's Fabina or Radha. So we are basically required to calculate what here? Simple interest and compound interest. Basically, the question is asking these two values. Okay, got this, Rahan. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's find out this simple interest. Yeah, so it's going to be P into R into T upon 100. That is 12,500 multiplied 12 into 3 upon 100. Okay, so do tell me that is equal to how much? Uh, sir, I'll solve it and tell you. Okay, okay. Sir, by the way, can I send the formulas? Yeah, uh, I told you to uh, send the formulas. You haven't sent it yet. Send it. No, sir. Okay, okay, sir. okay send it. I was preparing it. Okay, okay, no issue. And in the case of compound interest, we know that it cannot be calculated easily. No? So first we need to find the amount Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, during uh, so, uh, finding the compound interest, is the formula uh, amount minus per, uh, principal or amount minus simple interest? No, it's amount uh, amount minus principal. Okay, it's amount okay, minus sir. principal. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, so it's one plus R upon 100 raised to the power N. So the values are given here. Simply put them and you will be getting your answer. Okay, do tell me the cube of 11, Arhan. What is the cube of 11? Yes, sir, what did you say? Cube of 11. 11 cube equals to how much? So 11 cube is equal to uh, 1,331. Good. Okay. So simply multiply these two values and you will be getting your amount. Um, sir, I get uh, uh, one, uh, one lakh mm -hmm. seven, uh, one lakh sixty-six thousand three hundred seventy-five. One lakh sixty-six thousand three hundred and seventy-five. Okay, good. That is the amount. Of, okay, 
So from it now we need to subtract the principal that is 12,500. Okay. So after subtracting it, do tell me what is the value you are getting? Sir, from which do we have to uh, subtract? We have to subtract 12,500 from this value here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, one thing here, we have forgot this 10 here, no? We have forgot this yes, 10 sir. here, no? We forgot this 10 over here. Okay, so there needs to be a decimal point here, no? Yes, sir. Okay, we forgot this 10, so we will put a decimal point over here. Okay. So upon subtraction, you will be getting this value. It will be 4137.50. Okay. So that is a required compound interest. And see what is the simple interest. And then we will compare both of them and see who gets to or who has to pay more interest. Um sir, I got uh mm -hmm. sir, I got uh one lakh fifty three thousand eight eighty seven point five. For which one? For this one, simple interest. Uh, no, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. We subtracted it, right? Compound interest. Okay, okay. Uh, one thousand, one like sixty-six thousand, one like sixty-six thousand thirty-seven, sixteen thousand six hundred thirty-seven minus twelve thousand five hundred. Okay, so that that you are getting how much? Um, oh. sir, I got. No, actually, you have, you forgot this thing here. No, we have put it a decimal here we have put a decimal here why because the value here was this here 125 multiplied 13 and 31 upon 10 we actually forgot this 10 earlier okay so then you will be getting this value getting it and this here is oh, 4500 okay, got it now so we can clearly see that fabina has to pay more interest that is 4500 rupees while Radha has to pay only 4,137 rupees. Okay. And by how much more interest Fabina has to pay? Um, so we, uh, we can uh, subtract 4,500 by 4,137.5. Uh, 4, exactly. Okay. So that will be around how much? 363, 62.50. Right. Okay, yes, so sir. that question was also easy. Okay, similarly, question number four, see this question here. Okay, so in this question, principal is given, rate is given, and time period is also given. That is how much? Two years now. Okay, but the question says that had I borrowed this sum, the sum 12,000 at 6% per annum compounded interest at a compound interest. Earlier, uh, the, uh, earlier I took this amount from Jamshed at simple interest. Now, if I were to borrow the same amount at compound interest, what extra amount will I have to pay to him? Okay. So that can also be calculated. Okay. So, so the value is... The formula. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. So uh, that can also be calculated easily. Right. So in order to do that, see the later part of the question says that what extra amount would I have to pay? What extra amount would I have to pay? So it basically means that first you will calculate simple interest, then you will calculate the compound interest. Okay. So you will cal uh, you will subtract the smaller value from the bigger value that will give you the extra amount that we need to pay to Jamshed. Okay, so that will be simple man interest minus compound interest. That will give me the extra amount. Getting it? Yes, sir. Okay. So, will you be able to solve it or shall I uh, help you with uh, help you with this question? Sir, I can solve it. Okay, good. Now, see question number five.
uh, uh, they even invested rupees sixty thousand at an interest rate of twelve percent per annum compounded in half yearly. What amount would he get uh, when after six months to hmm. after one year? Okay. So principal is given here. Rate is given twelve percent. So rate will become how much? Since it's compounded half yearly, so it will be six percent, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Since it's compounded half yearly. Okay. Now talking about the time period here. In the first case, it's six months. Okay. And in the next case, it's one year. So and here is given one year. And M here is given six months, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, hmm. So uh, we have to uh, solve it uh, yeah. uh, separately, or uh, we, we have we have to solve this one separately here. Okay, sir. We have to solve this one separately here. Okay. Now coming to the. Uh, first question. Let's solve first question first. Okay, because the second one is easy. Simply put the values in the formula. You will be getting it. But here it's after six months. Okay, remember moments ago we solved a uh, similar type of questions. So six months equals to how much? Six months is basically two half years now. No, uh, six months is basically what one half year now. Yes, sir. One half year. So we will say it to be n here. We will say that n is one here. Getting it? It. Okay. So n here is one year. M here is six months. Okay. Or uh, we can simply rather than uh, considering it to be n or m, let's say it to be n only. Okay. So that we can avoid the confusions here. So n here is six months. So when you will convert it, we know that six months basically means one half year. Okay. So we will say it to be one here. Getting it. So for yes. the for first one, let's solve it here. Amount equals to principal into one plus R upon hundred into N. Okay, that is six thousand into one plus rate is twelve percent. It will be becoming six percent, isn't it? Since we are calculating it for six months. Yes. Six upon hundred, and n is going to be one here. Okay. So six thousand into hundred and six upon hundred. Okay. So it will be six hundred and thirty-six. Double zero here. That is the required answer. Getting it. And for the second one, I have one question for you. For for uh, after one year, what is the interest rate you will be taking here? Yes, sir. After one year, look for the second question here. Okay, what amount he would get after one year? Okay, so in this case, will we be taking the twelve percent rate of interest or six percent rate of interest? So twelve percent since uh, we use six percent to solve the half year. No, no, no. Look here. The interesting thing here is now. Remember here, there are two half years in one. There are two half years in one. So n basically means what? N is a two. In one year, there are two half years. Why I'm talking about half half years here? Because the question says that the compound interest is half yearly. Read the question. Vasu, they were invested rupees sixty thousand at an interest rate of twelve percent per annum, compounded half yearly. Getting it, Rahan. That's why, even if the question is in complete year with, if it's one year, two year, or three year, you have to convert it into. You have to calculate it uh, on the basis of half years. You have to see how many half years are in two years. In one year, in one year, there are two half years. There are two half years, so and you will be take taking as two. In two years, there are four half years. There are four half years, so here you and you will be taking as four. 
is this thing getting cleared hmm? yes okay then we can easily solve it like there are two half years in one so and here is going to be two so amount equals to uh 60000 okay 60000 okay we missed one zero here okay we missed one zero here so there's going to be one more zero over here no it's okay now see over here so this when uh yeah one plus r upon 100 so the rate of interest is going to be six here. again here getting it rate of yes, interest sir. is going to be six percent why because we are calculating it on a half yearly basis so it won't be 12 percent okay since we, we have <clears throat> we are calculating it on the half yearly basis we also calculated the year on half yearly basis getting it that's why rate also needs to uh, be calculated on half yearly basis so you can solve it then here okay so it will be 206 upon 100 multiplied 106 upon 100 okay so 636 multiplied 106 so that will be your required answer okay now see other questions if you have co confusions in them see question number six okay so i will just briefly explain these questions because you are required to solve these questions as part of your assignment right okay so arif has taken this uh loan from a bank and the rate of interest is, is 10 percent per annum let me clear this yeah it is 10 percent per annum okay now we need to find the differences in uh, amount he would be paying after one and a half years if the interest is compounded annually and then half yearly. so basically we are required to find the difference in amounts if the interest was compounded annually and for half yearly. right so first what you will need to do you will calculate the amount for first year okay in the normal way so whatever the amount will come after uh, calculating calculation for the first year that amount you will be taking as principal for the next one and a half year getting it yes sir so whatever value comes here that you will be taking as principal okay and to calculate the interest on a half yearly basis we know compound interest is not calculated uh, it's it's not calculated for half yearly for three months two months five months etc so for that purpose we use we will be using simple interest that will be p into r into t upon 100 so that p will come from where from here the principal calculated the amount that became principal here getting it around okay yes, sir. So, you can solve it question for solve this question okay so if if you have any confusion while uh, meanwhile solving it we can discuss it next class okay so similarly see question number seven eight and nine here okay so here also principal is given uh rate of interest is also given per annum compounded annually here okay so we need to find the amount created against her name at the end of the second year okay what would be the amount after uh, at the end of the second year basically means after the after second year after two years basically so that you can calculate also here okay okay then mean so you have some more questions here as well okay see question number 11 In a laboratory, the count of bacteria in an experiment was increasing at the rate of 2.5%. And the initial rate was this much, 5 like 6,000. Okay. So we need to find how many bacteria would be at the end of two hours. All right. So that is pretty simple. Okay. Here. okay. So first you will be calculating what? You will be calculating the amount using simply the formula. Okay and this two hour you will basically treat it as 